Fitzpatrick didn't give me much to go on. Just the newspaper photo of Malloy and the fact that Malloy stayed here at the Ritz. Then there's that girl Fitzpatrick referred to, Sandra. Maybe I can track her down. First I need to find out which apartment Malloy was staying in and then get into it. That means I gotta deal with Nilo, my landlord. It's the second week of April and I'm a little late on my February rent payment. My parents found this in the attic and sent it to me. I remember the pastoral days of my early youth riding on my trusty Mount Striper chasing bank robbers and horse thieves. And all that came to an end one summer afternoon during an electrical storm. The lightning struck a transformer near our home creating a tremendous power surge. It was after the accident that my brothers and sisters started calling me Tex. Whenever I asked them, they'd just laugh and wink at each other. I never did find out about that nickname. I cut this article about Mac Malden out of the newspaper. <laughs> Gives me a good chuckle. I cut this thing out of the paper a few days ago. I've known Mac Malden for years. We've worked together on several cases, but I don't know if we're actually friends. We just help each other out occasionally. So Fitzpatrick's staying at the Savoy. Guess I can call him on my vid phone if I need to talk with him. picture was taken my ex-wife on her 25th birthday. Yeah, she was gorgeous. Makes me wonder sometimes why we couldn't make it work. One of these days, I'm going to realize my dream of opening a spelunking shop in the Utah desert. This picture was taken... I can't believe they expect me to pay for the junk they sell. Eat the rich dog food. A little gamey, but not bad for the price. I've had this jackknife ever since my wood blows days. My knife used to have all the cool attachments. Now everything's busted off except the pliers and the standard screwdriver head. This baby's brand new. I had to replace the old one after the, uh, incident. Lord, what a horrible memory. I should probably stop by the newsstand and see if Chelsea's upset with me about last night. I've been trying to get her to go out with me for years now, and just when I think I might be getting somewhere, I stick my big foot in my mouth. Well, now I got some money, and maybe she'll give me another chance to let me take her out to dinner. Looks like Chelsea's ready for business today.
Hi, Tex. Hey, I'm, you know, I'm sorry about last night. Is that so? Why? Playing hard to get, huh? Okay, I'll play your little game. I'm not in the mood, Tex. You know, this is not a game to me. I have a lot of big decisions to make, and maybe I need to get away to make them. Hey, everybody needs some space sometimes. Go if you have to, but I'll be waiting when you get back. Thanks, Tex. I'll keep that in mind. So, I heard you picked up a case last night. Is there anything I can do to help? Man, Chelsea's sure not her usual cheery self today. Ah, something tells me my window of opportunity with her is closing fast. If I'm gonna get her to go out with me, I better keep pouring on the charm till she gives in. What's going on? Well, I got a bunch of cash, but I've got nothing to do with it. I figured I'd go out to dinner tonight, but I hate to eat alone. Are you interested? What? Like a date? <sighs> no, it'd be more like two friends having a great meal and maybe some stimulating conversation. I guess that'd be okay. I mean, yeah, that'd, that'd be all right. You know, Tex, I haven't really been myself lately, and I really appreciate you looking out for me. Where should we go? How about Burger Barn? They got great atmosphere at half the price. I've got a better idea. Why don't you let me make you dinner at my place? It's cheaper than going out. And uh, besides, I have uh, something I'd like to talk to you about. Let's say, uh, 8 o'clock? Well, you talked me into it, Miss Pat. Oh, I feel so spoiled. By the way, what should I bring, red or white? You better bring both. Finally. After years of relentless pursuit, Chelsea's inviting me over to her apartment for dinner. Oh man, the possibilities are making me woozy. Okay, snap out of it, Murphy, and let's get back to work here. Maybe I should head over to the Ritz and see if Nilo's at the front desk. I'm sure he'll be happy to see me. Looks like the cops put one of their computerized locks on the door. I guess they have to keep this door locked now that people are storing their stuff here. This box looks like it hasn't rotted through yet. Hmm. A chisel. Maybe someone's been down here doing some prospecting. This looks like the kind of money belt the drug dealers are wearing these days. I think I could put this money to a more productive use than any drug dealer could. I guess this letter didn't quite make it into the mailbox. Uh-oh. Moral dilemma. To mail or not to mail? That is the question.
I may regret this the next time I'm eating dog food for breakfast, but right now it feels pretty good. Some unlucky soul lost his wallet. So, my landlord dropped his wallet, and it's full of cash. Of course, I could return it. Hold it right there, you sneaking piece of slop. Hello, Nilo. Good to see you, too. Ain't we polite today? Strolling in here like some kind of sunbeam from heaven. Tell you what, fork over the money you owe me, and I won't kick your butt all the way out into the street. Yeah, that's more like it. Well, now that we're all square, can you take a look at a photo for me? No comprendi. I said I can use your help. I heard what you said. It's just my meter ran out. Of course, you see no... So, what's on your mind? Recognize the man in this photo? Yeah, I've seen him before. What can you tell me about it? He used to stay here. I'm gone now. Which room did he stay in? Hey. What name did he use when he signed in? Matthews. Tyson Matthews. Okay. Well, thanks for the help. Oh, the pleasure was all mine. Pea break. Apartment A is through the door by Nilo's desk and up the stairs. Nilo's had a hard time keeping tenants, so Malloy was probably the last person to stay in the room. Hopefully I'll find a lead once I get inside. Nilo is undisputed proof that man evolved from apes. Nilo hasn't had this vending machine stocked since I moved in. It'd probably cost money. Sheesh. This sandwich is about as fresh as Nilo's undershirt. This piece of notebook paper looks like it's been used for a coaster. It looks like Nilo's in for a busy and productive day. This section of the newspaper contains some kind of contest. It says to fill out the crossword puzzle and send it in. First correct entry received will win a hundred bucks. Could be worth a try.
This mail drop box adds a nostalgic touch to the lobby. With my luck, the crossword puzzle's right, but it'll get lost in the mail. Oh, this painting must be called Sam and Max Hit the Semi. What a scumbag. Nilo knew I couldn't get into the apartment without the code, now he'll probably want to charge me a few hundred bucks for it. At this rate, I'm gonna be broke again in a hurry. What do you want? I'm busy here. There's something I forgot to ask you. I figure I've paid you enough already, so you owe me. Well, you figured wrong. You're off by about 500 bucks. Come on, Nilo. You've cleaned me out already. I haven't even got enough money left to buy food. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Here, let me give you some back. Ah, you didn't say the magic word. What a sap. So, uh, what do you want to know? How to spot a sucker a mile away? <laughs> sucker a mile away, I like that. Nyla looks around like he's about to sell some government secret and then lets me take a peek in his special notebook. The code is 4827. Ah. Got a whole new respect for you, snot face. This window looks to be slightly opened. So, this is where Malloy stayed. The beginning of the trail.